Hello, in today's video I will focus on GitHub Actions and Preview Environment. What I call Preview Environment, it's an environment that you build when you are working on your feature branch, when you are working on your pull request. In this case, we will see how you can build and deploy your application inside a specific Kubernetes namespace. It could be any kind of infrastructure, Kubernetes, cluster, new applications or serverless functions or even VMs. But let's now see how this demo works with actions on Kubernetes. So I have a project and this project has multiple uh, things like a release and multiple environment and specific containers. If I go to the staging environment, you see I can view the applications version 1.00 deployed in the Kubernetes space called staging. Let's look in my Kubernetes. My Kubernetes is working on Azure and I have multiple namespaces, especially production and staging. The same way, if I go to production, I have also the V1 application in the namespace uh, production. And the application in Kubernetes is deployed from uh, GitHub Actions using packages and using container image that are stored inside GitHub packages. And you see I have an image tag main and an image with a release number V1000. And the idea is to see how we can build a new version, fix the applications and deploy this new application while developing and then moving to production. So let's work now on, a, on an issue, on a new feature of, on my project. And for this, I will be using code spaces. So let's start a new code spaces and work on uh, my development. So my code spaces is ready. I can test my application. Everything is correct on main. So I'm ready to work on my new issue that has been assigned to me and start working on the issue. Working on this issue will create a new branch called issue 16. And let's now fix the, the, the code. And this is a very simple fix. I just need to update the copyright and I just need to change my applications to move to v.2.0 version in my code. So I can again here do the test. I, I didn't change anything, but let's do it. And you see I am on issue 16 as a branch. So let's go git add. I'm ready to go. Git commit m new copyright. Fix 16, 16, git push origin issue 16, Ori um, origin 16. So I push the code in my repository so I can close my development environment and you see now I have um, my GitHub is asking me to create a pull request. So what I will do now, I create this pull request. Let's keep it back with all the default. And as soon as create the pull request, a new workflow is starting and this workflow will do two things. All the CI, building and testing my application code, but also deploy the application inside Kubernetes, deploy the application in a new namespace. So let's look into the actions. As you can see, on my branch issue 16, I have the main CI CD process running or workflow running, and let's look at it. So this workflow is doing the CI, building and testing, building the Docker image and publishing the container image inside contain, um, GitHub container registry, and then deploy the application. Let's look into the workflow file. So every time I have a push on the main branch or on a pull request on the main branch, I will 
test the application. So check out the code, install Go, and build and test the application. Then I will create and publish the container image. And for this, I have a specific logic of connecting to GitHub container registry based on the branch where I am. So if I am on the PR, like I am right now, I will use the branch name as uh, I will use the branch name as a tag for my image. So let's do this. And you see here, I am tagging the image with a branch name. So in this case, it will be issue 16 and I am publishing the image. Then using a reusable workflow, I am deploying the application inside Kubernetes from the branch I am on. So from the issue 16 branch. So let's go to the container registry now to see the latest version of my container. So if I go here, you can see I have the issue 16 image that has just been published and it's currently deployed inside Kubernetes. Let's go back to the action. Look into it and you see it's deploying the application in the development environment, the development environment of GitHub. If I go into my Kubernetes cluster, on, I will refresh and you will see a new namespace. So you see I have the new namespace issue 16 that has been deployed. And inside this issue 16 now, I have a new hello from Go application that has been deployed. And if I go to my, uh, my workflow, I see this application being available now for testing. So this workflow has tested, built it, built a new image and deployed the application to Kubernetes in a brand new namespace, totally isolated from the rest of my applications, allowing users and developers that are doing the code review, that are doing the testing on the specific feature to do that directly from GitHub. So you see version 2.0, but on the, on the namespace issue 16. So you can do all the functional testing here. So now that we are done with the testing on the code review, it's happening. You can simply merge the pull request. So let's go to the pull request and merge here and confirm the merge. Closing the pull request on merging the code will have will start two workflows. It will do a deployment into staging from the main branch after the merge. And it will also decommission, delete the namespace from Kubernetes. So let's go into actions and you see we have two workflows running from the issue 16 now, one from the issue 16, one from main. And this one, it's decommissioning development environment. And decommissioning the development environment, it's calling kubectl to delete the namespace. Let's look into the namespaces here. And you see the issue 16 namespace, it's terminating. So GitHub Actions, now that I have done with the feature branch, and the pull request, it's deleting the development or the preview environment automatically. And in parallel of that, so when it will be done, it's also deploying to staging using a standard kind of CI CD. So doing the CI, testing, building, and code scanning, and so on of my application, and then building the new image on main branch on deploying to Kubernetes. So let's wait until it's deployed to Kubernetes now from a staging, uh, from the main branch to the staging environment. So the application is now deployed from the main branch into this URL. So if we go click on it, you can see that it's version 2.0 on staging and we still have the version 1.0 in production. Let's check. So let's go to production. 
and view the deployment version one. And if I go to staging, version two. So great, we have so far created a pull request, tested in the preview environment, merge the pull request, delete the preview environment and deploy it into staging. The la last step is to deploy to production. To deploy to production in this specific workflow, in this specific flow that I have defined for my applications, I just need to create a new release. So let's go on release, draft a new release. Let's call it v2.0.0, create a new tag, new release. And I will use this cool feature from uh, release inside GitHub to generate release notes automatically from all the commits on the issues that has been fixed since the last one. So you see what's changed, new copyright in the change log, and now I can create publish release. So creating the release, it's creating the tag. And when I create the tag, a new workflow is running a few actions. So let's see it, you see, new release. And if I go into the file, it's tagging the image and deploying the new image into uh, Kubernetes. So let's quickly look into the workflow file. So every time I have a push on the tag starting by V, I will execute this workflow. And this workflow will check out the code and execute some actions to get the container registry, uh, get the container from the container registry and add a new tag with the release name. So GitHub ref, ref underscore name is the name of as a release. And then using a reusable workflow, the same that we have used in the CI CD workflows used from the pull request, used from the main push, push on main, we have the same workflow that is called deploy to AKS, so deploy to Kubernetes that connect to Azure, get the credentials to connect to uh, Kubernetes and do the operation of deploying to Kubernetes. So let's go back to the workflow. and wait for the deployment to production. So it's now deployed to production and let's click on it and you see production version 2.0 with the new copyright information. So if we look at it from the CI CD and preview environment with GitHub Actions, one of the very powerful features is you can choose any type of deployment workflows, deployment strategies between your code, your applications, and what you want to push into your staging, production, and development environment. In this specific demo, I was focusing on showing a preview slash development environment that I create on the fly using an action and that I delete using another workflow, another set of actions. Also, every time I have to do multiple, time, multiple things repeatedly, I am using a reusable workflows. So thanks for watching this demonstration. 